I call this meeting of the House Ways and Means Committee to order and note for the record that we do have quorum. So thank you everybody for getting here um, so we could get rolling right on time. And we have our bill authors, so wonderful to see you. So the first order of business is the approval of the minutes. And I will just note that there is a mistake on the agenda that we're approving the minutes from March 11th, 2024. And so, Vice Chair Edelson, can I get a motion for approval of the minutes from March 11th? So moved, Madam Chair. Any discussion? <laughs> Seeing none, all those in favor, please say aye. Aye. All those opposed, please say no. The motion prevails in the amendment or the minutes are adopted. And now we have two bills on the calendar for the day. It feels like our microphones are really loud. Is it really loud or is it just that the room is kind of vacant? vacant. <laughs> Maybe both. <laughs> it's not a reflection on the importance of any of the bills today. Um, Quit yelling at me. <laughs> <laughs> That's why the mics are turned up. Awesome. <laughs> In case I need to. Um, so with that, uh, we're going to do House File 4237, Representative Liz Lagarde. I move that House File 4237 be placed on the general register. And I will also move the A24-0240 amendment. And I will let Liz Lagarde, do you want to say anything about the amendment? Uh, thank you, Madam Chair. The, the amendment just basically matches up with the Senate, and it uh, changes it from Taconite uh, to Virginia to Marble to Mountain Iron. Okay, great. Any discussion to the amendment? Seeing none, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 All those opposed, please say no. The motion prevails and the amendment is adopted. So to your bill as amended, Representative Lissagard. Well, thank you, uh, Madam Chair and members. Um, Senator Tomasoni was an incredible individual. I believe most in this room uh, probably know who he was and what he stood for. Um, and this uh, is to acknowledge him. Um, as uh, a highway between Marble and uh, in Mount Iron. Um, it drives right past his uh, home, which is the center of the universe, Chisholm, and uh, his family is going to um, pay for the cost. I know that that's always uh, uh, who's going to pay for it, and um, the family is going to raise the funds um, for this signage. So I would really appreciate any support uh, to honor our dear friend and colleague. Thank you, Representative Lissagard. So we'll go to discussion for the bills. And as noted, we've had two naming bills, highway naming bills this year, and this has been treated in the way that I know Representative Petersburg and others have noted, um, back to the way we're, we've, uh, we're, we have been accustomed to doing more often. So um, with that, member discussion, lead Graffalo. Uh, thank you, Madam Chair. Representative Lissagard, thanks for bringing this bill forward. Uh, David was a good man and a good friend. I think this is an appropriate way to honor him. You know. I know if he's watching down over us, if I, if, you know, we would offer some sort of amendment to this bill to ask for just a little bit more or something <laughs> like that. You know? uh, so now he, uh, as someone who I had the, the distinct honor of uh, working across with in uh, conference committees, you know, I just, I have just so many positive memories of him, but, oh, but never, you know, the thing I said about him, this was meant as a compliment, right? Never stabbed you in the back. Always in the chest. <laughs> yeah. Always in the chest, right in the front side. And so I don't know if there's um, any family members here today. I just want to let them know that uh, we really do, uh, there's many times during the last couple of, uh, you know, since his passing that I've thought about um, what it would be like if he was here. Just a, just a good dude. And uh, he, he's, he's loved and he's still missed. So thanks for bringing this forward, Dave. Thank you. Any further discussion? Seeing none, final words on your bill, Representative Lissagard. Nope. Please support. Wonderful. So I will renew my motion that House File 4237, as amended, be placed on the general register. Register. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 All those opposed, please say no. The motion prevails, and the bill has been placed on the general register. Thank you, Representative Lissagard. Our next bill on the agenda is House File 3071, Representative Tabke. I will move that House File 3071 be placed on the regis general register. And I will also move the A1 amendment to get the bill in the shape the author would like. So the A1 is in front of us. Would you welcome to the committee, Representative Tab? Good to see you. Would you please just share about the A1 amendment? Thank you very much, Madam Chair and members. The A1 amendment adds a little clarity as to uh, the plain language is required both for driver's manuals and for the testing. Any discussion to the A1? Seeing none, all those in favor, please say aye. 
Aye. Aye. All those opposed, please say no. The motion prevails and the A1 amendment has been adopted. To your bill as amended, Representative Tapke. Thank you very much, Madam Chair. So uh, this uh, House File 3071 is a plain language requirement for driver's licenses and manuals. And so it uh, requires DVS to make sure that they are using uh, non-complicated uh, questions as we have driver's manuals. It also has translations in there. And this is a $212,000 uh, expenditure. And that comes from the DVS special account, which last time I checked had $20 million in it. So there's no impact to the general fund. And it will uh, do a lot of uh, very good things to reduce waiting time for driver's license uh, exams and uh, helping make sure that people who have the knowledge are able to pass the test. Thank you, Representative Tabke. Discussion to the bill. Representative Petersburg. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you, Chair and, and Representative Tabke. From uh, transportation, I understand that the plain language means it's only good on planes. Is that right? No. I take that back. Uh, uh, from what I understand, um, this is something that is on a normal uh, occurring uh, basis in which all of our written materials go through review. And if I understand right, the reason for what I think is a small cost to it is because there is already built into the budget uh, doing that anyway. And this extra dollar amount is just for the expansion of this bill. Is, is that correct? Representative Tapke. Uh, Chair Olson and Representative Petersburg, you are correct, sir. Uh, Representative Petersburg. Thank you. So I, I, you know, I think on the uh, forefront, it's, um, it looks like something that's something that we should be doing. We should always be updating information so that it's clear. Language does change, especially if you start looking online. Uh, our uh, our text ease is is starting to take effect sometimes too. So, uh, you know, I think this is an appropriate thing that we're we're doing. So, thank you. Any further discussion to the bill? None. Uh, back to you, Representative Tabke, for any final words. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Madam Chair and members. I just appreciate everyone's support. Great. And with that, I renew my motion that House File 3071, as amended, be placed on the General Register. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 All those opposed, aye. please say no. The motion prevails, aye. and House File 3071 has been placed on the General Register. Thank you, Representative thank Tapke. You. Um, thank you, everybody, for being here so quickly. I think we have yet to get close to our noon adjourn time yet, which I appreciate, and I don't want to make sure that we ever have to belabor <laughs> anything. So, But I appreciate everyone truly being on time for this committee. That makes a difference when we can get rolling right away. So thank you so much. And with that, that we are adjourned. It was